Tony believes the site is a kind of glory hole, where an ancient river once flowed and formed a plunge pool that could contain millions in gold. Now, he wants to find out if the pay dirt in this flooded hole could be the start of his fight back. So it'd be nice to do a little sample and see as to what we're gonna get out of it. If we get enough gold out of it, it'd be worth it. It'd be easy. Monica, do you copy? Monica, do you copy? Yeah. Hey, could you come over there with a couple of pails and a shovel, please? I want to slew some of the to the little plant and then pan it and see what we're going to get out of it. Sounds good. That's good enough. Let's throw it in the truck. You want me to grab one? No. You got it? Yeah. I'd be very disappointed if it wasn't okay. You think positive, right? That looks pretty good, ladies. Hi. I feel like there's even a little nugget in there. There is plenty of gold down there to make it worthwhile digging it up. That's only off of two pails. I don't know how much material is sitting there, but it is significant. Oh, yeah. What you want to do, Gavin? Dig a little slot through there. Then we'll just throw the pipe over the edge. The pipe don't give a All right. The glory hole is covered with one million gallons of water and surrounded by an 80-foot bank on one side and the mined-out mega-cut on the other. It's too far to pump the water across the cut. Instead, Tony will attempt to pump it over the high bank into a ditch. Okay, back it up, back it up. Otherwise, you got nothing to play with. Watch yourself, always watch. Keep her coming, keep her coming, Lisa. Hold it, hold it down. Okay, put it in there. The crew connects the pipe to the pump with flexible hose. Good. OK, Kevin, fire the thing up, pump that water out. Let's go. Sounds good. Hey, Kevin. Kevin, watch your pipe. That's pretty cool, huh? OK, get the trucks in there. Operator Brad Merritt feeds the first of the glory hole dirt through the trauma. OK, we're running through some really good pay out of the glory hole here right now. So we're going to try to pump it all through the machine here as quick as we can and get a real nice, get a real nice clean out. Oh, there ain't no water. Tony, Tony, you got a copy, Tony? Go for Tony, go for Tony. No water running to the drum. Shut the Thing off. Shut it down. Half a mile down the hill, a 900 horsepower pump is supposed to send water from the feeder pond to the trommel. Oh, this is all, this is stress time. Now this is the pump that runs the trommel. These are our pre-cups for the injectors. All of them are leaking water out of here, which means that they The injector pre-cups have overheated and cracked, leaking coolant into the cylinder heads and causing complete engine failure. Primarily we use this one because it can get it to the height, because it's 300 feet plus to get up to the trommel. And you need a big off engine and pump to get there. The Beats have a backup pump, but it's been sitting quiet for more than a year. Ah, uh, yes, this, this is the D348. This is our backup pump for the D398. So now we're really hoping we can get this thing pumping up the hill. 
that's our biggest issue. We got plenty of pumps, but to get them to 300 plus feet up the hill is the thing. So, if this thing's down, we're down. This pissing me off. You want me to fire the thing up for you? Sure. Uh, because that is a trick to that group. OK, prime the fuel up, would you? OK. Let's go, let's make this happen. If this doesn't work, we don't got no water, we ain't sluicing. So it's very important that we get this done. It's get hot. On the secondary backup, the pump itself is getting pretty toasty. Not the engine, just the pump itself. Gotcha. We're gonna build a little manifold that's gonna spray water. It's a bit of a bush fix, but it should help us get us by. If plan A don't work, B and C, whatever. Whatever the f it takes to keep on rolling. Down at the workshop, Eric Ilioya drills holes into a steel pipe to create a sprayer. Tony and Kevin add an offshoot to the pump's water outlet and connect the sprayer to the end. Fire it up, Kevin. 42 degree creek water blasts over the radiator and engine. But you see the vaporizing with the fan pulling it through? That water doesn't keep it full. It all else well. Any water yet? Uh, no, not yet, but I'm having a little double check here. Can you hear it, Mike? Can you at least hear it? No, I can't hear nothing. You got anything? I hear a lot of noise, but I ain't seen no water yet. We got to have something to assume. Tony Beats, do you copy Tony Beats? We got water. We got water now, lots of it. Water up. Here. 